reviews, discussions, and theories about films and horror, sci-fi, and genre. This is The Horror Deconstruction. Like, share, and subscribe to hear more. What is up, everybody? It's The Horror Deconstruction. Find us on Instagram, Facebook, most likely on YouTube. Give us a like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Hit that thumbs up. Let people know that you listen to the show with your host, Comp. Today's film is Intruder from 1989. The overnight stock crew of a local supermarket find themselves being stalked and slashed by a mysterious maniac directed by Scott Spiegel, written by Lawrence Bender, Scott Spiegel, starring Elizabeth Cox, Renee Estevez, Dan Hicks, also starring Ted and Sam Raimi, infamous duo behind such works as The Evil Dead. So this is a movie that I found on any streaming service. Actually, I think it was on Shudder. I might, might have seen this. But it is a movie I was aware of for a long time because I had seen the poster for it. I think I had seen some sort of old episode of... Uh, I forget the hell his name is. It's a cinema show that where they, they interview Sam Raimi at the peak of Evil Dead 2 coming out. Jonathan... I forget that there's this British uh, guy who used to do cool sort of genre movie television uh reviews and stuff like that and he just used to just interview people about that stuff and uh, this video would come up a lot because sam raimi is in the movie (laughs) sam raimi is helping out other directors at the time this is like the fun times when directors would just be acting in movies as opposed to now being above that sort of material but intruder is a very much old school 80s sort of cartoonish slasher film uh, with uh, a group of people that are obviously working at a supermarket at night that's closing down. We do find out later that the supermarket is going to be sold off and all these people are going to be out of work soon. Uh, the two guys that are running the supermarket that is not making money, uh, one of them is obviously the boss and the other one is the guy who had put all his, you know, had put his money into the business as well as the other guy and they saw it failing. Uh, uh, supermarkets do fail now and then, but uh, in this film, I guess that is a pivotal plot point for the movie. So what ends up happening, also there's a main character, um, uh, I believe it's Elizabeth Cox playing Jennifer Ross. Uh, She has this really shitty boyfriend, uh, played by Craig Peterson, who is like an abusive, obsessive piece of shit. And he is just like obsessed with getting back with her. He He felt like he went to jail, he got out, and he comes back and he feels like she owes him his time or something. She owes him time for breaking up with him or like... I don't get it. Like, if, you know, that, that's kind of like time. Unless she said, hey, I'll be there for you at the, you know, by the time you're out of jail. But, you know, people change. But he's a real piece of shit. He's just a piece of shit guy. And while this is going on, while she's trying to deal with him, it takes a whole fucking store to kick this guy uh, out. Uh, all these workers. And um, I, just don't, I just don't like that character. And he ends up becoming one of the main characters later on in the film. And there's a lot of, you know, red herrings, a uh, faceless slasher that's running around. You don't know if it is the boyfriend or somebody else. Um, Ted Raimi is the sort of goofy guy. Ted Raimi kind of always played goofy guys way back when. I was surprised that I saw him in another film where he was playing a cool guy. It didn't make any sense. I thought it was like a joke. And obviously he was in that other movie um, where he played a serial killer and did a, like a... a a real racist like uh, black exploitation voice through it because he was wearing the skin of a dead like African American character. Uh, you can find that episode somewhere in our archives. Um, <laughs> but this movie, it's fun. It's a decent little romp. Uh, Sam Raimi is one of the worst actors I've ever seen. They do really go to the school of Three Stooges acting him and Ted Raimi because it, like Ted Raimi is a better actor than Sam Raimi. But they're just sort of goofing around, and you can tell it's that sort of fun. Um, Evil Dead-esque sort of production value behind the movie. Uh, it's got decent gore. Uh, I really didn't give a rat's ass about any of the characters. The way that they, they die is... A lot of the, a lot of it is off-screen. And if it is gory, it's not that great. But, I mean, it's decent. It's decent, it's decent sort of horror gore in it. And there is reasoning behind the slashing, which is fine and made sense. But then it really doesn't still doesn't make any sense at the end of the day. I thought that the ending is sort of a real cop-out, which is unbelievable. Uh, There are funny parts to it, but funny as in like cringe, sort of corny 80s type of comedy. It's not necessarily a laugh-out-loud film, but it's one that will make you like smirk or something like that. And I thought that the interactions between the characters are very like one-note, comic book-y type of over-the-top. So if if you like sort of bland version of like Evil Dead where it's supposed to be like a, a psycho killer thing going on. You'll be fine with this because there's there's very like Evil Dead-esque shots in this film. And I don't think I don't think it used that sort of uh, demon POV thing. 
but there are some interesting sort of camera work that's done with this film that at least makes it like fun if you're into making sh movies yourself if you like that indie feel to it this movie has a lot of it going on um i think that the protagonist is like i said bland um the kills are fine they're nothing there's nothing fantastic about it you see corpses and like dis disembodied heads and stuff like that I did like that they try to utilize most of the supermarket in the film with various rooms and the meat packing room and stuff like that. Uh, I think it's a, a a a fine fine little movie. There's nothing super spectacular about it. It seems like an interesting sort of oddity um, as a feature film itself. It uh, a lot of it does not make sense as with people keeping up the supermarket and why it, they needed like nine or ten people to close this place up when it, it could be handled by a smaller amount of people and i don't know why they would stay out this late at night but whatever you know what it's just a goofball movie it's uh it's it seems like a, a movie that these guys were sort of training their skills on before they decided to make a feature like a real feature film not that this isn't a real feature film but uh a lot of it like there's parts where people are like cutting meat at night i guess they got to process it for the next day but uh it's fine it's all right there's nothing uh, super spectacular about it. And don't watch this trailer because the trailer like spoils the killer in the movie. And uh, you don't want to see that. Just just watch the movie and you'll be fine. Anyway, with that, I'd give this movie probably like um, 5.5 out of 10. Um, cutting up chicken in the middle of the night before you get cut up like a chicken in the middle of the night. With that, this has been The Horror Deconstruction. Thank you for listening. Yee.